Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and we are specifically going to talk about adding a hundred dollars to the cost uh, to the sit-down cost of Dungeons and Dragons through Bompty Chapter Three, um, ba the Balance Chapter. Okay, so Bompty is the Balance Chapter. And it, in my humble opinion, it just added one hundred dollars to the uh, to the sit down cost of Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, so let me explain how. So, um, chapter three uh, of Book of Many Things, brand new twenty twenty four Dungeons and Dragons canon hardback. Um, it 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 drops in right, and it adds immediately a hundred dollars to the sit down cost of Dungeons and Dragons. Let me explain now. So what is the sit? So first of all, let's talk about the scarcity table and the wealth table. Okay. And what we're talking about this hundred dollar edition is the wealth table. So you might sit at the scarcity table. What is the scarcity table? There are Dungeons. So first of all, what is the Dungeons and Dragons table? It's one Dungeons, one, one dungeon master and four dungeon performers who other commentators call players. So you have one dungeon master and you have four dungeon performers. Of course, you know, tables might go up one, they might go down one, but that's your basic table, right? A basic table, a basic Dungeons and Dragons table has one dungeon master, four dungeon performers. A scarcity table, do you know how many dollars they need to spend to play? Exactly zero dollars. Dungeons and Dragons, Hasbro D&D did something that TSR and uh, WotC d and so TSR, D&D. Uh, that was from 1974 to 1997. WotC D&D was from 1970, 19, uh, I'm sorry, TSR Dungeons and Dragons was from 1974 to 1997. WotC D&D was from 1997 to 1999. Uh, and by the way, WotC bought Dungeons and Dragons for 60 million and flipped it two years later for $300 million. Five times the value. Absolutely incredible, right? And all of that is 100% the, the accomplishment of Lorraine Williams. She built incredible value into Dungeons and Dragons. All right, let's keep going. And then 1997 to today is Hasbro Dungeons and Dragons, right? So right now, Hasbro, and actually Hasbro did this probably 10, 15 years ago. This is, I think this has been the case for every single day of Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, right? Which is about, which is about to end and we're going into D&D Infinite Edition. And when the new books arrive, all editions are done. There will be no more. Actually, we're in, we're in, we're in one D&D right now, right? But what was, you know, the artist formerly known as D&D 5e, um, cool symbol, uh, was every single day it's been out, it's been able to be played under scare, under a scarcity table. What is a scarcity table? Zero dollars. You can play with one dungeon master and four dungeon performers for zero dollars. How would you possibly do that? Well, first of all, Sly Flourish, I think, has the best guide to it in there, but there are many guides to playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons for free. You know, you get your table at the library, uh, you use the online resources, um, or you actually, you don't even have to do that. You can play at a real table with real books for free. Again, you go to, go to your library, pull, you know, pull the core book, core rule books right off the shelf. And, uh, and they'll even let you use a pencil, right? And some, and you know, and you could use a flyer that's, uh, that's there for the bake sale on Saturday. You're good to go. Right. And you're like, well, wait a second. How do I, uh, do uh, how do I do random values? The pencil they gave you can actually produce random values. It's 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 wild. You, so that is a scarcity table. Okay, let's talk about the wealth table because the wealth table just went okay from one thousand dollars for a basic table, one DM, four DPs, right? Dungeon performers, um, one dungeon master, four dungeon performers, right? What's that cost? It's every single one of them is going to need the PHP, the DMG, and the, and the monster manual. Wait a second, Scott. People don't need the DMG and the monster manual. I'm not talking about your ridiculous, unengaged players 
who get who get railroaded through your nonsense, right? I'm talking about actually engaged players. Any real engaged player absolutely needs the PHB, the DMG, and the Monster Manual. If you have a horse, how are you going to look up its stats? If you get given a, 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 a magic item, how are you going to look up the magic item? Please, right? So every single, whether you're a dungeon master or a dungeon performer, 60 bucks for the PHB, 60 bucks for the DMG, 60 bucks for the Monster Manual, right? That's $180. $10 for your dice tray, $10 for your dice, okay? Um, and maybe you don't use a dice tray, but we'll put you at $20 for your dice, and 20 bucks is cheap for dice nowadays. Dice are literally going for, dice sets are going as much as $20,000 now. Um, and so, uh, and actually, you'll get, la you'll get laughed at if you sit down at the table nowadays with a $20 dice set. Um, so that's, that's 200 bucks. That's $200. And that's before Book of Many Things. Now Book of Many Things arrives, right? That's $100 because your D20, you pull that out of your set, you throw that in a lake, and you replace it with the C22. Don't know what the C22 is? Just look in, this is, uh, uh, just go back one in my, you know, in my videos and I have an entire, oh, actually just click in the link in the description below and you'll see the C22. C22 is the new card-based D20 uh, that came out of Book of Many Things. Book of Many Things costs $100. That means there was just a 33% increase in sit-down cost for every wealth table in America, okay? So that means wealth, cost, wealth tables minimum have $1,500 of tangibles on the table the moment you start. That's basic. That's if nobody bought any miniatures, right? And that's if you're using super cheap dice set, right? Which is minus a D20 now, right? Because Bompty did not replace the D4, the D8, the D, you know, any of that, right? It did, um, it did actually replace the D20 with customizable results section. That's huge. That is absolutely massive, okay? Now get this, that means that wealth tables are $300 a table, $300 a person for basic equipment, okay? That's just basic equipment, right? And in addition to that, that doesn't count. That There's so much that doesn't count. That's just basic equipment for a bog standard table. What's interesting though is that $300, right? You could take that $20 for your $10 dice tray and your $10 uh, dice set, right? And you can easily make that $220 for a good set of dice in a good, uh, you know, um, dice tray box, right? Like from Wormwood or any like that. So it's not uncommon at all for many tables now to have 2,500 US dollars on the table as basic equipment. Just the basics of what you need to play. $2,500. And let's not even talk about the fact that that group who has $2,500 in tangibles for the Dungeon Master and the four Dungeon Performers, they may be playing on a five to $10,000 Wormwood table, right? It's, it's incredible. It is absolutely incredible, uh, you know, what, what we're seeing now. Truly, truly, truly astounding. Uh, and that's a massive change, right? And a, a massive change, not to the scarcity table, but to the wealth table. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.